Hello. Welcome to the Ruth M. Shoemaker playlist on my YouTube channel. Uh, this is done, dedicated to uh, my grandmother and the grandmother of, uh, and great grandmother of many of you that might be watching this uh, at some point. Uh, this is dedicated to her, her ancestors so that her descendants might understand a little bit more about where we came from and what we have in common and how uh, those folks uh, worshipped and went to school and how they worked and where they lived. So there's going to be videos attached to this that are going to show uh, some of these places and some of these uh, 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 sites and things that, that were involved with their lives. Most of these videos on this first set were recorded in August of 2021. Um, Occasionally I make a mistake on the facts and I try to correct that uh, in, in the actual, uh, on, on the text of the video. Uh, and this is uh, kind of centered towards some things I was trying to do with my specific family. Uh, so once in a while I'll, I'll make a reference to uh, someone uh, as, as they relate to me. But this is, I've tried to do my best to make this uh, clear that this is for everyone who's uh, part of this family. So thank you for watching and taking a few minutes to, to learn a little bit more about how we got to where we are. A uh, couple real quick things I'd like to thank a few people. Sarah, who uh, grew up in the Trock Hunsaker house um, near Sailorsburg, Pennsylvania, uh, and her that house uh, w was the home of the great-grandparents of Ruth M. Shoemaker, and uh, that being... John Troch and Mary Winner, and they had a daughter named Hannah Troch who married Jacob Shoemaker. Uh, the Shoemaker House is still there, uh, and it's on the Delaware Water Gap uh, National Recreation Area managed by the park rangers, and I managed to get uh, in contact with a fellow named Mark who was a, a temporary or seasonal employee there that got me into the house and took me around the basement and showed me some things that um, I might not ordinarily been able to see. So my appreciation to him. Once again, appreciation to Sarah, who I met after uh, I made the trip, and I came back and reached her as uh, through a video that I was given from the historical area uh, where she talks about growing up in that house and how her dad went about and bought that house. And hopefully I'll get a link connected to that through this YouTube channel so that you can watch that. I also would like to thank Jan, who I ran into just taking a walk in the Park Place community um, where uh, Victor Dodson lived. Victor Dodson was married to uh, Ruth's sister, Grace, and uh, that was the, the site of quite a few family events. Uh, I think Shirley and her half-sister, Grace, uh, uh, as well as Bud, spent time in that house, uh, and, and uh, Shirley and Grace both lived there for a little while, I believe, uh, especially during some high school years. But that house is no longer there. So Jan, who I met there in that community, has grown up there, and actually his best friend grew up in the Victor Dodson house at 10 Park Place. That house is no longer there, however, uh, but his friend, Lewis, uh, was able to talk to me and give me some information about how that house was laid out and kind of things they did and, and uh, uh, just some information about the house that I'll try to add at another point. So uh, uh, been very appreciative of those people that have been able to help me on, on this journey. And the last folks I want to thank are the people at the Winter Her Museum that have uh, at least two uh, samples of pottery or crockery that were created by John Rudolph Troch in the house in Sailorsburg. Uh, and that house um, was uh, built in 1795, and it's still there, although it's on the uh, uh, Pennsylvania list of historic places. It's still a private home, and people still live in it, and um, it's currently for sale. So uh, uh, there are some great pictures posted online of the interior of that house, as well as some pic the, the video that I'm going to show you. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I, I appreciate you taking the time. I hope you enjoy this. There, the videos have been made public temporarily, so if you'd like to make some, some comments or have some conversations on there, you're welcome to do so. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again soon.